Welcome back programmers! Today I'm back on the Simple Image Processor. This time I will add a status bar at the bottom of the screen to display the image size, the image file path, as well as the thumbnail of the image. I will try to keep this video short. Yeah, uh, so let's get to it. And back in the code. So, you know me by now, you know what I do first. I clean up the code. <laughs> yes, that's right. Quick cleanup. Well, not so quick, but I wanted to do some uh, more things here and there. So, for example, um, I want to create a main procedure. Okay, just like this. So, what I did is uh, put the whole code, the whole main code into a procedure called main uh, without any parameters and call the procedure just right here. I want to move this as well at the beginning of the file, not the beginning of the file, but right below the declarations. And that's it. Some other stuff in the main procedure. Okay, so here I just want to test uh, that the open window uh, succeeded just by uh, testing the result of the open window. Same for the create menu. I just want to add menus, menu items and stuff like, stuff like that only if uh, the create menu succeeded. And that is it. What I also wanted to do is to uh, load the, the image, you know, the cube image when I start the program instead of uh, every time I want to test I need to go a file open or control O and then choose the file and etc. So what I want to do is load the image directly when we start the application. So let's do that. Okay, so what, what I did here is uh, extract the procedure from the open image procedure. I extract, extracted this code here and created the load image from file procedure. That takes one parameter, which is a string, which is the file path. And then I do the same code from the file path, meaning opening it and doing copy the zoom level and the display and adjust gadgets and then from the open image I just need to call this load image from file and as well to load the cube image at startup I just call this load image from file with the full pass of my cube image I just forgot to put a comment on that function Okay, let's try this quickly. It works. See, the cube image is loaded by default and we have everything that works here. Okay. Now, what else? Yes, I noticed that if you open a file and after that you open a file that is not an image. Let's choose is text.txt. The um, image is still displayed here, but the zoom actually does nothing because the main image is not loaded anymore. So we need to take care of this. Let's do that. Okay, so here I created a reset all procedure that reset the application to its initial state by freeing all images, then setting the zoom level back to 100 and displaying image, displaying the images, but they have been freed. So now I need to take care of um, modifying the display image and not just gadgets function when the image 
are free. Okay, so here I modify the display image and adjust gadgets. So what did I do? I have the image as a parameter. So what I do is I initialize width and height to zero. If the image that I pass is actually an image, then I get its width and height. And I also set the image into the uh, Im image gadget. If it's not an image, I reset the image gadget by passing here zero, which means erase the image. And then that's it. For the rest, it's just, you know, moving and centering the image uh, gadget within the scroll area. And that I can use the same code with the width and height being zero, which means the image gadget is going to be resized and centered, resized to zero, zero actually, and centered exactly in the center of the scroll area. So let's check it out. So if I load a text file, which is not very clever, but you never know, it actually display nothing. It erases everything. So that works. Next is the real uh, purpose of this uh, video, meaning adding a status bar. So let's do that. You'll see it's pretty simple. Okay, I created an enumeration status for my status bar because I need an ID, so status main. And also I created three constants, status image size width, which is going to be the width of the field for the image size, uh, which 100 pixels. For the thumbnail, I chose a width of 50 pixels. And when you set PB ignore, it means that the, um, the field will take whatever space it has, okay? So if we go back to the creation of this status bar, I test, I call the create status bar procedure, which takes a status bar ID and a window ID. So status bar is the status main, window ID of window main, because I want to create my status bar in the main window. If it works, then I add some fields. And to add a field, you just add the size, the width of the field, because the height is already um, the height is already managed by uh, the OS actually. So here, status image size width, status image file path width, and status thumbnail width. And let's check what that gives. We have our status bar here, but you see the scroll bar is over it. So we have done something wrong and I know what this is. It's because here we are resizing the window to take um, the menu and the rest of the controls into account. But we need now to uh, account for the height of the status bar. We're just calling status bar height and we pass the status bar ID, which is status underscore main. Let's take it quickly. Exactly, we have our status bar here. I'm going to zoom so you can see we have our separators right here and there. 100 pixels here, whatever here, and 50 pixels here. Now we need to put some text within those fields. Let's do that.
okay so we have our status bar and now we are calling this method now we are calling this procedure fill status bar with the image main and the file path to display some information about this image in the status bar so how do we do that fill status bar here you see it's very easy you just call status bar text to add a text or status bar image to add an image you can also call status bar progress to add a progress bar but here we're adding some text to display the di dimensions of the image so uh, width times height uh, with an x um, so we get the image width of the image the image height of the image so here this is completely wrong like this and <clears throat> here like this everything is an image and and that's it status bar text so which status bar which field so to do that i created an enumeration here with my fields so i want to force the fact that the enumeration starts at zero because my my first field is indexed zero my second field is one and my third field so the thumbnail is two so the enumeration starts at zero and then goes zero one two so field status bar is just called status bar text uh, the status bar the field id and whatever text you want to put so here i'm putting image width space x space image height and some flags here uh, we want to center the dimensions within the field and we want the field to be raised uh, status bar text for the second field same thing we're just displaying the file path but it's going to be aligned on the right on the left sorry uh, and still raised and finally the status bar image we are want to display an image in a status bar status main status main thumbnail the third field the image id you want to display and the same centered and uh, raised flags so let's check it out and of course i'm calling the field status bar when i'm loading the image it doesn't work because you cannot make strings yes of course i need to str this and of course str this meaning converting the uh, number which is the image width or image height into a string and using the plus operator to concatenate those three strings one two and three f5 and look at that the cube is open and exactly you see first field i have my dimensions 800 by 533 second field i have my whole path and third field we have an issue here of course the image is centered but it's not reduced in size so we need to um, create the thumbnail from the main image to uh, display it in this status bar so let's do this okay so here what we what we're doing is to display the image as a thumbnail we first need to test that the image passed as a parameter is correctly loaded then we use temp variables to get the width and the height this is the same as usual the first field second field okay and then when we want to display the image so i could add some comment here display the image dimensions all right 
here it would be display the image file path okay and here that would be display the image uh, thumbnail all right and even that I could put that here because it's part of the dimensions okay so status bar text to display the width and height status bar text to display the file path and here to display the image I'm copying the image from the source image to the destination image I'm computing a ratio here we'll check that later I'm computing a ratio here and um, I'm applying the ratio when I resize the image so I resize the destination image uh, I resize it using the source image time the ratio and the height of uh, the source image height times the ratio and finally I display my image the same way but here I'm using the destination destination image let's check the computer ratio function here the computer ratio tries to fit the rectangle into another okay so source rectangle is uh, so width and height is the source rectangle that you are trying to fit and the destination rectangle is uh, the one that you are trying to fit the source one into and so to compute that we take the minimum of both ratios vertical so dividing the width and dividing the height so filling the status bar so we are computing the ratio here and let's check it out it does not work because we are missing some parameters of course our destination image is image thumbnail but we don't have an image thumbnail because I forgot to create here the enumeration let's try okay so look at that there is a very small image here there is the thumbnail of the image and if I load another image the skateboarder for example look we can see the very tiny image and the path is good and the size is good let's check the flowers just to see boom look at that very nice okay now we can reuse the compute ratio to uh, use somewhere else when we are actually zooming the image remember we are computing the ratio and now we can reuse this compute ratio procedure so let's do this okay so here we are computing our ratio uh, just using the uh, compute ratio procedure instead of computing the doing the calculation here in the event uh, on gadget event procedure so let's try so this should work if I zoom see it still works nicely the zoom still works and my status bar works but what doesn't work is let's look at that what doesn't work is if I load once again a text file instead of an image you see that the size and the file path stay the old ones so we need to reset that okay so here what we do is we are calling when we reset everything we are calling the field status bar uh, with image main image thumbnail but they've been freed so there's nothing there and with an empty string and here in the field status bar procedure when the source image is not an image 
what we do is we are using status bar text to clear up to empty all fields actually we cannot use the status bar image to uh, erase the image we just use the status bar text and it will replace the image with the text empty string here so let's try this this should be the end okay here everything is nice if I change my file everything is updated size path thumbnail and if I open a text file everything is erased very nice and finally as a bonus I wanted to add a little thing which is changing the title of the window and display the image name within the title okay so how to do that first when we open the window I'm going to rename this not simple image processor but just SIP okay and when we open an image I want to write SIP dash and the file name so you'll see it's very easy so to do that you just need to here call set window title okay so what did I do here uh, not very complicated so here when the loaded image is an image sent window title I'm setting the title of the window main and I'm putting SIP dash and this is get file part which gets you the file name of a path if you give a full path it returns just the file name and again when I reset everything I'm setting the window title to just SIP okay let's try this boom look at that the, the status bar is there size path thumbnail and we have our title cube.jpg if I open another image skate.jpg the status bar is updated and if I open a file that is not an image everything is reset good job and we're done don't forget the big four you know them right like comment subscribe and check out the merch thank you all for watching and i will see you very soon